What up, Blockheads? So I've had this video requested quite a bit, uh, basically to do a gear review. And so I'm gonna do a review on my helmet. Uh, jump right into it. All right, so basically what we have here, this helmet is made by HJC. The model is uh, IS Max 2, which you guys can see a better picture of that right here. That's a pretty good helmet. I've been using it for about a year, and I've actually just purchased a new helmet, which is a full face. All right, so basically the HJC IS Max 2 is a modular helmet, and what that means is that this entire front face piece comes upwards. So there is a little red tab right here. So if you pull forwards on that, basically it comes up just like this. Just like that. So that entire top piece opens up. And the reason I got a modular helmet was because Florida, it's really warm during the summers. And uh, having a full face helmet, I felt like wouldn't be able to breathe and this would be a nice way to for it not to seem as claustrophobic, you know. So it does have these metal latches here and then latches on the inside as well, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. So the, the face shield, it locks all the way up right there, which provides plenty of, you know, room to look out forwards. And then, you know, you can have that closed while it's up as well. So just like that. And then to basically latch it back down, you're going to just press down. You want to make sure the sides are even when you're pulling down and they latch back onto here. Just like that. Easy enough. The face shield um, does have multi positions all the way down being closed. It does have a city position right there. And it does have a couple other positions in which you can click up one there, one there, one there, and then all the way up is there. Removing a face shield is really easy through the system right here. You're basically going to press in and it pops out and you're going to do the same with the other side, press in and it comes right off just like that. The visor, uh, which is pen lock ready. Basically pen lock is going to be this little piece that you see right here and right here. And that comes pre-drilled pre basically into the visor. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to insert this little piece right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And what that does is it captures air in between the lens and that, that little film, which causes it to not fog up. And it has been amazing. I highly, highly recommend if you guys have a Pinlock um, ready lens, to definitely install one of these pin lock pieces on there. It was basically like a little tiny thing of silicone that seals right in between the lens and this little thin film and it seals off the air basically insulating it so it keeps it from fogging up. Highly would recommend that if you guys have a uh, pin lock style lens. Now moving on to the helmet. I mean obviously I had to set it for motor vlogging. GoPro that I'm holding in my hand right now mounted to right here. I, I had the mic set up on the side and the microphone runs into here. You've got it kind of set up along the, the cheek area on the left. So a mic adapter out and then into the GoPro, which would be right there. And then the mount for the GoPro I had set up right here. I had kind of like a custom mount setup. So looking at the features for the helmet, you do have basically a vent in the chin right here, which is really easy to get to with gloves. Obviously, if there's a GoPro right there, it's a little more difficult, but I had mine to where I could basically bend it down if I needed it. Um, and I would keep it closed for the most part just so that there's no wind noise in the vlogs. So it does have the, the big vent right there. Um, you also had another big vent right here up top, which is a uh, three position. So you've got closed, like halfway open, and then all the way open. So closed, halfway, all the way. It's got little spots at which it clicks in. In addition, and this is a feature that I really like, it has a built-in visor, built-in sun visor. So basically you can grab this little piece right here and you press it forward. And that's gonna cause the visor right there to drop down. Now that's something that I like a lot. And then it does auto retract, or not auto retract, but there's a little button here also. You press it inwards, it retracts. So press it in, retracts. 
Uh, there's two positions that you can have the visor also, so it'll click one time right there. And then if you keep pressing it forward, it'll drop a little further right there. Usually I would have it on that setting right there. And then you just press in, like I said, and it goes back. So clicks up, clicks back. So that's an awesome feature and it is removable. You can take it out. Just to show you guys, uh, you can actually remove this entire front piece as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a screwdriver with me. They're all in the garage. So I'm gonna try and use a butter knife. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Cool, I can't believe that worked. Ghetto. All right, so once those are loosened up, I'm just gonna pull straight out. These little bolts do have like little plastic spacers on them that fit well into there whenever you go to put it back together. Set those aside, obviously, don't lose them. All right, so that comes apart totally off of there. And that's, that's basically the front face shield. You guys can see I do have the chin curtain. They do sell this separately. I bought that. I think it was like, I don't even know, not very expensive, but definitely worth having, especially if you're moto vlogging, you're trying to keep all the air from coming in, you know, through the chin. So I bought that. And then just to show you guys how I have my mic set up, basically got the adapter for the GoPro right here, stuck onto the outside of the helmet, and then the 3.5 millimeter jack for the microphone which goes into the helmet. I have it taped down right there with some duct tape. And then I have the basically the wiring for the mic wrapped around a couple times uh, around the chin curtain. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So in order to take up all that line, that's pretty much how I wrapped it around, just like that. So, I mean, nicely done. Never got in the way, and it never got in the way of the latch down here either. So just so you guys can see how the latch works, you're gonna pull it down like that, and then these pieces unlatch from those metal pieces there, and then it raises up, you know, off of the, raises up out of your face. It's, I mean, it's been pretty nice at lights, especially like during the summer, but upgrading to a full face. So that's uh, that's that whole front system. Really easy to set up if since you can take it off. I know most moto vloggers don't use a modular helmet, but if you do use a modular helmet in your moto vlogging, that's uh, pretty much one option. You have to keep everything pretty much right here in the front, and you, you can't go outside of this area right here because then it latches down. But you know, it's it's a kind of a a cool thing, but it's also a drawback to moto vlogging with a modular helmet is that you can't run the wiring like through the helmet for like the microphone, and um, if you have a Cena, you know like. It's, it's a little more difficult as well, so. But that's the, uh, the face mask portion. So for this portion, the actual helmet portion, just to let you guys know, it is DOT rated. Now, the inside, it normally comes with a double D-ring, but I actually installed this quick release, which I will drop the link to that below. I've done that on all of my helmets just because it's so much easier, and it's a really beefy metal latch. So you basically adjust it to your size, and then there's no fumbling around with like a damn D-ring, especially when you have gloves on, it's really difficult. So the rings are still there, but the latch, or the button that's on this side is no longer there. So you're just losing the, the button. This padding is, uh, what do they call it, like moisture wicking. They do have, they do have like the air channels all through the top of there, which is, uh, I don't know, it keeps you nice and cool. The airflow through this helmet is actually very good. The padding is really nice. I actually need to clean this up and it does all come out. Like I said, I need to clean it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it all out so I can wash it. Pretty easy to all take apart. I'll show you guys. All taken apart. That's all the uh, the inner padding, and it is. Oh man, I need to wash it. So <laughs> that's why I took it out. So then you just have the uh, the shell of the helmet left over. You guys can see those big air vents on the inside where the air comes through, uh, and then it does have a couple of exhaust vents, which are here and here. 
So, like they say on Revzilla, high sphere moving through negative blah blah blah. Basically, the, uh, the hot humid air is drawn out through the back, you know, as it's as it's going through the wind. Overall, really good helmet. I like it a lot. Um, it is a little weighty. Um, I think it's right at like right at four pounds between like three and a half and four pounds. I want to say like maybe a 3.7. I'll post the uh, the weight of it right here. And uh, yeah, so you know that that weight of the helmet already. I wear uh, an XL. Um, it is for a intermediate oval. That is uh, the shape of their helmets. Eh, cool. That helmet me. I'll stick away out there. <laughs> So yeah, it's for an intermediate oval. So the weight of the helmet being almost four pounds plus the weight of the GoPro on the front for longer rides, it does tend to get a little heavy. You know, the weight of the GoPro, you know, you wouldn't think as much, but you know, it starts to pull down on you. Overall, good helmet. I like it a lot. Definitely gonna keep it in the arsenal. Like I said, I am switching over to a full face helmet because I'm getting uh, the Cena 20S and uh, I'm gonna basically wire up the motovlogging setup into there and I need to figure out a way to get the audio to record into the microphone for the GoPro. So getting it all back together is pretty easy. The padding just goes right back together. Um, I mean, lining this back up is pretty easy. So you're just gonna line it up with the uh, the holes here. And then as you can see through there, they just screw right back in. That's it, pretty easy stuff. And then the this installs back in super easy as well. You just gotta line up the sides. Easy stuff. I would I would recommend it just because because I like the fact that it's a modular helmet and you know and you can lift up the front to breathe. It does have really good crash test ratings as well. So if you guys are thinking about it, uh, yeah, the only problems I really had with it is that sometimes if I pulled down on the front on the face mask too quickly, the uh, the latches wouldn't line up. So you just have to make sure that you pull it down evenly and snap it into place on both sides, you know, at the same time. But that was kind of the only only running that I ever had with it um, otherwise it's been a solid helmet done me really well like I've been using it like I said for a year or so it's been it's been great so far so I would I would recommend it you guys can find the links to pretty much everything that I'm using this in the link below um, from you know the adapter to the microphone the actual helmet the pen lock system um, and all that so Anyways, that's my take on it. If you guys do have any questions on it, please be sure to let me know and I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. If you guys uh, are interested in purchasing, like I said, I'm gonna drop all the links to everything below. And uh, yeah, solid helmet, nice matte black. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the gear review video. If you guys did, be sure to go ahead and hit the like button down there. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant, and I will catch y'all later. Deuces.